talk to the people. Oh, okay. Or you can follow you and see what's going on. Oh, good Lord Jesus. I don't got all the hands for that. Mm -hmm. All right, people. So let's follow her because I have no pre written scripts. You don't need a pre written I script. Know. You just need there she your goes. darling personality. There she is. She didn't trust me to make that, guys. Uh, I do I not know why. I never trust you to make I the coffee ever why. again. I could have totally done that. No. They're I think that's, supposed I to I think that's just what I did last time. No, you dumped mm, all the coffee nope, grounds. No, nope, I think I did literally there. that. No. I don't know how the grounds got in there. I you, think I was, think it was, a, the think it was a sabotage. That could have also been what you did. It was a sabotage. I feel like I was set up. I would comment, not. comment down below. Was that set up? <laughs> Look at you asking to be able to comment. Mm, oh, so of course. Cute. All right, so no, cute. she's in here making coffee. Yeah, I got a couple of minutes left on the coffee. Mm -hmm. The worst part is when you dump the coffee in the filter and then you have to like wait for it to go through the filter. So oh, that's yeah, that's annoying. That's old school. It is. I ain't got no patience. Oh God. I'm a millennial. We is need that... instant gratification. Oh, good Lord Jesus. All right, well, I'm leaving you then. Ah! You got boring. I need to, I need to, I need to give, I need to give the people what they want. Absolutely, babe. Okay. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now she's kitchen rambling. I don't even know what that means. Okay. I think I broke the mic stand. Too. See, that's why I can't you Okay. In. So. Oh, get out of my chair! Wait a I minute. I thought you was in the other room. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were finished. No, so or that's she wasn't so that's the thing. Um, oh oh gosh, yeah, and then see, you turn it, and then you just gotta tighten oh, it just okay. a little. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yes. So <laughs> I um. Yes. Now, now it's that dreaded waiting that I was talking oh, about. Gotcha. But since I'm waiting, I can wait with the people. Look, like, y'all, look at my hair. Actually. Don't look at my hair <laughs> like yeah, that, I mean when I tell that. you I did not touch it this morning This is exactly how it looked when I came out of bed um, I What was I gonna say? Well, something about oh, no, I need to, no, exactly. Don't look at my hair. Mm -hmm. uh, let me log mm -hmm. on and, and look at the comments. So she made coffee. I volunteered to assist That's and... help that I will never <laughs> accept <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. Okay, everybody. Other I'm looking the at the chat. Oh, I gotta mm -hmm. put the mute on. I took the mute off. I know. It's so slow. Exactly. I'm behind. Richard's always like you guys. I set my alarm. That's the funny part. I set my alarm for five minutes before, but like I don't start getting ready till one minute before. Richard's like, do you you want to start preparing for the live now so that we're not scrambling? Uh, you know, right before, and I'm like, oh no, we got plenty, it, it's 9.26, we got plenty of time. And before you know it, it's 9.30, and I'm always late, so there's well, that. okay. Good morning, Pam. Okay, guys, sorry oh, about the goodness. buffering. This is, this is just who we are now. Okay, yeah, we are buffers. Okay, let me go to my oh, settings my right quick. Oh, okay, good, we're back, sorry, my bad. Okay. Um, uh, Wait, Beth says, good second. morning, Weathers and Warcos. I like that, actually. Ooh. Uh, good morning, Brooke. Hi, Shelly. Good morning, good doctor. Hi, Aureldia. Good morning, Latanya. Good morning, Rashawn. I'm glad you're good here. Morning, Who said Richard, Aureldia said Richard slinging tent. Oh, he wishes he could sling tent. <laughs> uh, so, Trevi says, good morning. Date night was amazing. I started crying as soon as the music started. LOL, Richard, when you looked at Autumn and said, you are so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. He just... Anytime there's downtime, oh I'll just guess. catch him staring at me, and oh I'm just like, guess. move along. <laughs> but, oh <my> <laughs> but he's so cute. Oh my, oh that my was goodness. To um, start off and say, Treva go. said she's never drinking your coffee again, and that is also <laughs> very, very true. So, um, I, Pamela I said, yes, Treva, it was great. I laughed when his mom said, slow down. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I don't, I don't even know if I've ever heard that part of it. That was really funny. Mm -hmm. So. Mom's here, the buffers. Mom, you're a hater. How about that, uh, huh? Uh, Sarah's on? here. Hello, people's a little late. Better late than never. Barb says, I haven't been to bed yet. Stayed up all night so that I didn't miss your live this morning. Oh, Barb, wow. where are you? Oh, what wow. shift do you work? Like, whoa. Whoa. Holly's here, says, uh, happy Sunday morning, <laughs> Autumn and Wack fam. Good morning, Brooke. Um, D says, you should see if Spectrum owes you an upgrade on your wireless modem. Maybe uh, stream from your laptop. Yeah. 
I just like the camera on the mm. phones better. That's the problem. The camera quality, like in, in the computer, and I've also bought like a 4K, uh, a 4K webcam they're just not the same as these cameras on these computers so are on the phone so that's it but yeah no i think it was me being on airplane mode i learned my lesson this time okay richard you can talk now i gotta get my coffee together <laughs> oh my gosh this is so from somebody who's in production this just seems very chaotic is all i'm saying it's live television. <laughs> apparently so yeah so, so. see that's the difference oh my gosh Mm -hmm. That's the difference. You are accustomed to television. I am accustomed to the theater. Oh, okay? that's what it is. Like, it's all about improv. It's all about what's happening. Okay. And you did I'm more accustomed to living in the moment than you are. I guess that's fine. But, you know, I did always used to want to be on television, so maybe I should learn to, like, actually read scripts and, like, camera directions and things like that. Do y'all hear that? Do you guys hear that? She's from the theater, so... That changes everything. Okay. What it is is she's very chaotic, but only in the stuff that she enjoys. She's regimen and very precise in the stuff that she actually wants to be regimented. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm realizing this, guys. I'm realizing this. Okay. So the walk yesterday, we ended up going on a 3.9827. No, it was 3.9827. 9827. Oh 3.9827 miles. <laughs> we almost we were we, we made it to we off. almost made it to four. It was uh it was I was mad that we only made it to 3.9. She was mad, yet she was the navigator. I know I gotta find a better route. Oh, you see you put me on blast. Now I guess I know how it feels to be put on blast. It is not a good feeling. <laughs> I try not to do it to you anymore. I probably fail. No, I'm good with that. Okay. Okay. That coffee is delicious. As you guys know, I like to let it sit in my little coffee mug here and it just stays hot. So I honestly didn't plan on having it uh, till after the live. So I'm just gonna let that sit there and marinate for well, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All of 20 minutes, so. Um, Sarah says the theater probably explains the projection. That, that is exactly what it is, Sarah. So many people will be like, you talk loud or like, why do you project your voice so much? It is just the theater. Like, my sister hates it. Like, when we're downstairs working together or something and I'm shooting a video, she's like, you're literally screaming. It's like, I can't help it. I'm so sorry. Like, that is, it, I, I can't speak. Like, when I'm talking to someone that's not in real life, mm -hmm. I can't not speak like that. Like, even when I was at my old job and I was on the phone, like I just, it was like, you're talking so loud. And I'm like, I can't help it. Like, no. get off me. It's it's my training. You know yeah, what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Um, good morning, Jennifer. Brooke says, oh man, when it froze, YouTube paused on my end. I could still see the chat going. How weird. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. know what's going on. I don't know what that second buffer was about. I'm rebuking that in the name of the Lord Jesus. So. Oh, Yes, um, I we are cleaning up today. I am very oh. excited. I don't know if you, you I'm cleaning okay, up. This is my mess, you guys. Like all of this is my mess, and I've got to clean up I because mean, we got to take pictures today. Yeah, okay, it's mostly it's yours. You know, it's it's all mine. Yeah, no, 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 it's all mine. I got to do it. So I'm cleaning up because we got to take pictures today. Okay, I remember. You guys, you like the people working times. on my blog are almost done and it is so amazing. They're like, we need some pictures of you to like put on the website. So I'm just going to be like, Like catalog poses, you guys. I have Another always yeah, I didn't prepare enough, like you're like you said. Like I didn't it's prepare okay. enough. I should have spent okay. more time logging on to see if it would have done this. Okay. No, I it's all like... my fault. I am to blame here. Okay. Everything bad that happens oh is because so of me. About your photos. <laughs> so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta take some photos. I've always wanted to be on the cover or shoot, just in a Macy's catalog, but they shoot in New York and Target shoots in Minneapolis. Like you gotta go where the where the magic's happening. I'm, I'm just not doing it, but to be in, in print, that, that's always been one of my dreams. I, I got a lot of runway work when I was a model and I was just nice. like, I am not runway size. I, why, why am I, I'm, you it was more- she it was more key dropped that runway model? Thing? It was more lifestyle runway, but like I always wanted to be in print. Low man. key dropped that. 
Oh my run gosh. Away, Rashana run. says, I would have walked around the block to get to that four mile mark. Being that close would have been messed with my spirit. You right. I was just like, I probably walked four miles, like, you know, like just a tenth a mile. No, I couldn't do it. Two feet Dana's is celebrating my 19 year anniversary today. Congratulations. That's amazing. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Beth said, I wasn't in the theater, but I speak loud too when I debate something. I'm even louder. Yeah, I just, this is oh, my yeah. natural no, timber, is, yeah. you guys. I'm used so, to this. this uh, D says, can range. you train me? I'm naturally very soft spoken, drives my husband nuts because he can never hear me. I mean, you just have to pretend like they're across the room. I mean, you just have to pretend like you're on a stage and you, you need. Have to hear the back row. The back row has yeah, to hear Yeah, the back row has to hear you, but it has to sound natural. You can't sound like you're yelling because that's not normal. So. Can you see that? That sounded so offensive. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. But why are when you, you project in ooh, a normal that tone, sounds, ooh, that's music, your voice ooh, carries, but ooh, it sounds ooh, conversational. Ooh, feed my ears. Oh my ooh. gosh. You're so oh, ridiculous. He's the best hype ah. man ever. Aurelia says, well, somebody said I love Seinfeld. I do. Seinfeld was just one of those shows I did not get. And the other one was like, seven kids picked to live in the house. No. Was they seven were seven kids picked to live in the a, house. A, there were only six friends. Oh, get it together. Okay. Um, I definitely think for a, for a zing zang, bada bing, bada boom, joke, 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 mm -hmm. that's Will and Grace. Like, Will and Grace, like, is still the smartest written show on television. It just went off again, and I'm really, really sad, mm -hmm. but like, it's boy. Like, it's like Frasier humor. That was amazing. Uh, yes, I never watched Frasier <laughs> either. I love it. Joyce says, Barry and I celebrated our 22nd anniversary yesterday. Yeah, I was bummed that we can't go out. Yeah, I saw that Aww. in the Facebook group, Joyce. First of all, happy anniversary. That is amazing. Yes. Second of all, that's got to be kind of tough. You know, everybody having birthdays and anniversaries, people that oh, yeah. normally go places. See, I don't normally go places for none of that stuff anyway. So, you know, but I'm, I'm really sad. Everyone deserves a nice night. I believe that. I know. So. Yes, Aurelia says, love, Will and Ray. Just chat. Yes, just chat. Just chat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. You're fine. Me and my mom, all the time, all the time, we do, if I could turn back time, if I could find a whoa, whoa. <laughs> you don't get so <laughs> I guess you had to be there, people. You definitely you had, had to, to be there. Be there. Oh, my the gosh. That was iconic. Oh, my it's God. So we do it all it's the so time. Good. <laughs> you single yourself? I gotta go watch that. I think, I think she just kept herself going. So self gas. Oh my god! <laughs> that really said Autumn oh cracking goodness. herself up yesterday. Yeah, yeah. That show is that. hilarious. Apparently so. Lord, and then every time the bartender Smitty would like say something really depressing, and then Karen would just crack up. Like I cannot. No, I it cannot. Well it was, very it well was so written. well written. Oh, I missed that. Okay. All no, right. Written. Mom says I watched Will and Grace last night. I love it. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Will and Grace was yeah. I still think com like line for line the funniest show on television. Just their quips and their pop culture references. I mean, amazing. But okay, I digress. I for she real digressed. digress. I did. We went, we went head first in the Will and Sorry, Grace. Sorry, I love yeah. television. Episode six was about. Um. Oh my God, my battery's running low. Oh no. Oh Aurelia says stop now. My, my uh. Battery last night. I don't like that. I mean, mm. um. So yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on. Oh, uh, such it such a smart show like Designing Women. I I didn't watch Designing Women wow, either, went, but I knew I, I knew that, that that was groundbreaking at the time. I remember Designing Women. Um, I did yoga this morning, and it was difficult. Like uh -oh. it was. I think I jumped right into Les Mills body flow. Uh, Mom says at McDonald's, y'all want something picking up coffee. No, I'm not getting anything from McDonald's. Oh my God. They make keto stuff at McDonald's? No, I mean, you could get like a bacon, egg, and cheese, no biscuit or whatever, but no, I don't need that. Appreciate I already it, I have my meal prep planned for today. Appreciate it. I mean, um, if you just got some extra stuff, Trisha's you no, know it's not going to do. No, see, that's what I'm just saying. No, the answer is no. Okay, no, no. Thank no, you. I mean, if she had already bought it. No, buy no, it. but we wouldn't want it, even if she already okay, bought it. I'm Tell her to push that stuff on somebody else. We got, we we are not those people. We are not the dumping ground for all free things. I'm sorry, I just can't see. That's the dangerous part of it. Um. 
True. Akita with Trisha says Golden Girls was so funny. I never got into Golden Girls, but um, I, I enjoy I, Golden Girls. I uh, my yeah, but I do. My best friend Ashley, that's her favorite uh, television show. That's just one of those so. things that made a resurgence thanks to the, the Betty White. Yes. <laughs> so it came out and went back in. Golden Girls is hot again. Dee said, "Told y'all not to sleep on that yoga body weight exercise. There's no joke. Yeah, it was very difficult. I think I need to start with more of a beginner, um, beginner class, only because." In the body flow that I did, they moved through the poses so quickly that oh, just as I was like settling oh, in to see what they were doing, they were moving on to something oh, else. Yeah, so and I was know. just like, um, and so I was, you need to do I it. couldn't, I need to do something where the movements are more static so that it gives me more time to actually achieve the pose. Oh. Cause a lot of these were, I guess that's why it's called body flow. I was like, cause a lot of these were just flowing motions that she was like, okay, now lift your arm. Now over your head, bend backwards, downward dog. And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I can't, I cannot. So, Namaste. so yes. Uh, Pamela says, mom, get me a sausage, hold the biscuit. I know, right? That still has like three or four carbs in it though. I mean, it tastes really good yeah. though. Arodi says, Autumn, does Richard enable overeating? Yes, he does. He uh, allows me to eat whatever I want, which I is uh, difficult whenever I'm in an overeating mood, but I Wait, work on trying to control so it. So you want me to not allow you to eat what you want? No, I want you to hold me accountable and be like, oh. remember your goals. You said you didn't want okay. that Quest bar. But I mean, if he sees me eating a Quest bar and it makes me happy, he's like, oh, glad you're enjoying your Quest bar. You know, like. I never know when you're eating because you actually fit it into your butt and you yes. your plan or when you. Or just, just going extra. on and crazy. Yeah, exactly. No, it's not okay. your fault, but I'm just saying like, no, I mean, which, you know, at the same time, it's not his, yeah, I mean, Gigi says not his fault, you're responsible for you. Exactly, so and I don't blame him for well, anything. The, the food so. I eat too, I don't really leave out in the open. Yeah, right? exactly. Other than those Rice Krispie trees, but that was given away, it was only a temporary thing, I didn't eat those. Yes. But most and, of the time, I never leave anything out. And I never eat his food, so, you know, that's the, you know, that's the thing. It's just, it is, so unfortunately, it, it manifests itself in the in the question, are you going to eat that? And the answer is, oh, if you want it, you can have it. And I'm just like, okay, well, of course I'm going to eat it. You know, whereas if it was, if you're going to eat that, yeah, I'm going to eat that. Don't eat that later. You know, like, don't eat that. And that would have been like, oh, okay, I could stop. But see, he's always like, well, if, I mean, if you want it, you can have it. Like, spoiler alert, I always want it. You know, yes. so it's I'm, like, that's... I've, I've learned that. Yeah, so, I mean, really, honestly, when I'm asking you that, I'm like say that you're going to eat it, but like, he's never going to eat it, okay. you know? So. Well, now that I say this is the first time I'm ever hearing that. I know, so. right? So he always, he always wants to default to make me happy. So he's like, like if you want well, it, you can have it. Yeah. From now on, I always want I definitely it, so. want all of that. Yes. Uh, Cynthia said, what happened to the Rice Krispie Treats? We gave half of them away and the other half are going somewhere too, yes. right? Well, I'm giving that one half to my nieces and nephews. Yes. I'm going to drive because I actually have to go pick up something. So I'm going to yes. do the old front porch thing. Mm -hmm. The old front porch uh, uh, drop off. And the other one we gave to uh, Grandma to give away to all her visitors. Yes. <laughs> I think she gave them to the little boys across the street. Yeah, so. See, so it was um, it's basically like just a circle of life. I'm giving back. <laughs> Debbie says, good morning. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Jennifer says, body flow has an instructional on Les Mills. So you can do it as many times until you get comfortable Ooh. to do the regular class. Oh, I okay. like where this is Okay, going. that makes sense. Um, uh, Dee says, yeah, don't mess around with these body flow workouts and jack up your shoulders. Don't push yourself yet to any movement you're not ready for. Yeah, see? <laughs> like, yes. when there there were some things where... And, but Especially it was also... proper stretch. But it was also very, very... I guess helpful to see because like I, they'd be like and then forward fold and then like their whole chest would be touching their thighs and I and mm -hmm. I'm just like mm -hmm. and their legs are straight and I'm ch my chest is tucking you know touching my thighs but my legs are bent basically at 90 degrees well, what are these, and I was like oh exercises? that's a goal to like maybe to uh, be able to straighten up so you know have any regular people or they're all like super fit no they're all like super fit yeah. fitness instructors like you know that's the whole point so oh, it, yeah. it gave so, me yes. something it's to take us a while. Yeah, it gave me something to aspire to, I would oh, say. I like that. Patricia's here says, Good morning, Autumn and Richard. Hello, how are you today? Hey, um, Patricia. <laughs> it is raining outside, so yeah, and it's only supposed to be in the, the mid 50s what? today, so I don't think we're going to go on our walk, but I did do yoga. 
Um, and I am having we'll a productive day. Week. Yeah, we'll just push it into the week. So I plan on having a productive day. Sunday morning, Saturday and Sunday mornings are tough because we watch the Food Network and there's a lot of fun shows like the Pioneer Woman, that little, that woman from North Dakota, Valerie is on, that black girl, yeah, honey, what, her name is Cartier, which I'm just like, girl, but um, she's like, like down home, sweet Mrs. Brown or something like that. Like these are all fun little shows that I like to watch in the morning, but I also need yeah, to be productive. Does. So I'm saying. Um, oh Lord, Dr. Watt says, Uncle Richard, so sweet and thoughtful thinking of his niece and nephew. No, mm -mm. don't, don't do that. Don't make no, it, yeah. don't make it sound like it was an intentional. Oh, he yes, just made was. all these Rice Krispie treats and I'm like, what in the world are those doing here? Oh, I'll just give them, them to my niece and grandmother. nephew. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll, she, see, we'll go back to that. I will take the responsibility. I will take the responsibility for, for taking that stuff. I didn't go over there and take them back. So I will no longer ever do that. I just won't throw them out. I will never do that anymore. I will throw them away. See, and I will. I will throw them away with the quickness. No, that's food. That could go to like hungry children somewhere. You're not taking them to hungry children somewhere. You're not taking them to hungry children. So physically taking them to hungry children. They're not hungry children. They might be. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so let's get to my way. Oh, yeah, we did have to talk that stuff. Yeah, well, let me erase the board. So go ahead and, and talk about stuff. Richard. Okay, so yes, I am such a giver. I am, uh, okay. I give back. All right. I am a this is nurturer, not the conversation that I wanted us to have. So. <laughs> I thought you said it. So yes, all of Rice Krispie Treats are basically gone. Mm -hmm. But... Um, there is a whole other box of Rice Krispie treats up there. You want me to throw those away? You no, want no, you been, want you want one day for those to be here and the next day for them no, not I've to been, be here I've and been, you have no idea how they get gone? No, I do not want you to throw food out. Mm. I've I've already been eating those though, so that's like mostly gone. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. That's great. If if you're eating them, that's that is excellent. D says I'm gonna be so sad when all these shows go on hiatus and it'll be reruns literally all day. Yeah. Um, mm hmm. That's what I mean, but they. I, Play reruns all the time anyway but like we watch the same episodes of diners driving the dives like every night and i for some reason i never get tired of it so no, it's because it's not the same yeah well i mean like hundreds and they, hundreds of they episodes. rotate every Which every good. couple of weeks you or so so many seasons yeah i guess everything yeah new. but i mean we literally saw one last night that we saw like last mm -hmm. week so it's i don't know no, it's, I think it's just like now. it's like house hunters and things like that like property brothers i can sit and watch the same episode over and over again what what phenomenon is that oh, um it's called a boredom joy said i'm making a vision and goal <laughs> board today i was working on that yesterday as well i think that is very very important barb said children are always hungry <laughs> That makes me laugh. Thank you, Barb. Beth says, on Saturday, I like to watch all the animal rescues and animal shows. Animal nope. Rescue. Yesterday, my boyfriend was like, you aren't ready yet. Yeah, exactly. No, I can't. Mm -mm, no, I don't do animal rescues. Um, um, Beth says, right now, he's playing Call of Duty. Yeah, Richard loves to play himself a uh, you know, video gamer, too. I'm trying to cope. I'm trying it's, to cope. It's, it's hard. He said, I'm trying to cope. It is hard. Out that here. is so funny. Um, Roshana says, I am on YouTube more than I watch TV. No, I, I mean, I watch YouTube a lot, but yeah, I still, right. sitting down in front of the TV mm. is like my whole thing. I would say about 25%. Um, <laughs> Are Aureldia says, Richard, when you met Autumn, were you surprised that she was in weight loss mode because of her height? Um, that's when, when he met me, Honestly, I wasn't in weight loss I was just surprised mode. she existed. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly just like. I was, I was impressed with everything. I was like, your size. Because I would always say I want somebody my size. Like, I don't want to, like, look down or look up too much. Like, I can do it, but whatever. But then I was just like, she's cute. She's my height. He she's likes so my curviness. And I'm just like, mm-mm. It's all going away. Let me look at the camera on that one. As far as I'm concerned, she is all right as is. Yeah. But I can, I can, I love your expiration. You Thank you. To, Thank you to so much. To be something much. greater. Oh my gosh. So yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, but that's the thing. I really wasn't in weight loss mode when we met. Like when we met and he would take me out all them dates. I really, you know, I think I tried to stay keto on some of them yeah, and things I think like you that. Did tell me a little bit, and but I was yeah, to we would like... go to Culver's every Sunday.
God, that was so good. And, you know, you did, didn't yeah, you? we would go to other restaurants and things like that where I, I really just was eating keto on and off yes. when we met. So it wasn't really till we got serious to where I was just like, okay, I can't, you know, I have issues with food. We can't yes. do this all the time. It took a so. while. Then she, then she slowly explained to me that yes. I was like, oh, okay. Yes. So, but yeah. So, yeah, he just was so happy I existed, he said. Well, basically. Okay. So yesterday I weighed 186.0. Yesterday was a fasting day. It uh, was a really good day. I, mm, I, we went walking. Yes, I we did, did body pump in the morning. Oh, y'all saw that video I put on the Facebook page. I was so proud of myself, bar or not. Oh I was, gosh. I did the whole workout though, oh huh? Gosh. I did the whole workout. So I was very proud yeah, of myself. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Oh, yeah, sorry, I got, a, I got a little aggressive there, my bad. Um, so this morning, to my surprise, I stepped on the scale and I weighed 183.6. That is a loss Ooh. of four, no, 2.4 pounds. <laughs> 2.4 pounds. But you know what that also means is a burr, 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 new low. So I am 0.2 pounds lower than my lowest weight. Yes, thank you for that trumpet, sweetheart. Uh, it's so going. great. So going. now I can replace that with 183.6. Oh, Y'all, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what I did to achieve that. Um, I. I, I was, you did what you normally do. Well, yeah, exactly. I did what I normally do, but like mm -hmm. I didn't. There was no number twos. There was no like you know. I didn't feel particularly right. lean this okay. morning. Well, that means you're packing I, some extra. I exactly. That be, means I can still. Be 2 .8. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. I'm very excited about this number. I do expect it to go up a little bit because today is Sunday, which means I Fine. to. I am shooting some videos, which will require me to like test some products. Oh, but I'm taking a bite of those products i'm not like going overboard because uh, today is not an overeating day it is just a regular it is just a regular meal prep day with some some stuff that i kind of got to do nice. in there um oh God, bird so said impressed. sorry i missed the live but congrats on good job on the way and well thank you bird mm -hmm. i'm so glad you're here um Trita said you included so your you bread. changed your macros to include more fat and less protein. Exactly. That is important to me. Ooh. So Debbie says I'm starting That's a, a nice water change. fast tomorrow. Any tips? Uh A, how long is the water fast? B, um, make sure you include electrolytes. That's gonna be very, very important. Mm -hmm. C, keep busy. That's it. You know, like don't let your mind, you know, if you Wander. if you struggle, if you struggle mentally with like, oh, I'm so hungry, I want to eat, like you gotta have something to do because mm -hmm. it will get difficult. But I did a 72 hour essential water fast. You know, when we did our fast uh yes, last week, a couple weeks yes, ago, did. I didn't have anything but water and electrolytes. So it is possible. Very That's all impressive. I'm saying. Um uh, Jonas says, Congrats on looking good, but more importantly, feeling good. You rock. No, I appreciate that so much. Ooh. Thank you. Holly says, keep up the good work. Feedback. I am down to a new low for me. I do well with the Black food piece. So uh, the moving part is tough for it's me. Hey, well, the you food guys. part is most important. So, yeah, let's get moving. Um, starting at 10 a.m. Uh, like right now? Like right now it's 10 a.m.? Oh, like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh, tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I would recommend. Ooh. Like, also, Ooh, you know, if, I don't know when you eat, but if you want to eat something before 10 a.m., that way to just get you through the day. Like... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. Question that, that's, mark. So yeah, something to think Exclamation about. Exclamation point. Dot, yes. Dot, dot. Look More at you with the, with the punctuations. <laughs> <laughs> Leah says so close to the uh, 70s. Yes, minus 3.6 coming. You're right. I I believe it. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I know it's gonna happen, and I'm going to get down to not only my lowest weight from last year, but even lower than that. Then I'm gonna get in the 160s, uh, and like I, I mean, it's just gonna happen. Wow. I absolutely um, believe everything you just said. Barb said, why add more fat when I still have fat to lose? I didn't add more fat. Good morning, Mary Ellen. I'm glad mm -hmm. you're here. I didn't add more fat. I changed the macros of what I was already eating mm. to include more fat. So it would be different if like my macros were 15 or, you know, my calories mm. were 1500. And then I just added on all this MCT oil for the sake of adding fat. Like I agree, you shouldn't do that. But when you have a set calorie, like when you have a set limit of calories, 
I think, and I feel like I'm proving this with my weight loss, that where you get those calories from is important. Matters. So yeah. So by having less protein and less artificial sweeteners and actually getting more of the those calories fat. from fat, it's training my body to not only mm. use fat more efficiently uh, as to use the fat that I'm eating, but then also the fat on my body. Uh, and you know, like cutting out all that protein, which when not paired with enough fat can have somewhat of a, of an insulin response and things what? like that. It's really just, uh, it's important where your calories come from. Cause if that was the case, I could just eat, you know, 1500 exactly. calories of Whatever. the standard American diet or, you know, half and half or something mm -hmm. like that. But I agree. Wow. Or I think that keto matters because of where you're getting your calories from. So much knowledge going on right here. Woo. Woo, breaking a sweat. I know. So that's just my journey. Some people can eat all the protein and all of the artificial sweeteners and all of the dairy and all that stuff and, and still be in ketosis and still see weight loss. But for me, I was definitely getting to the point where I was relying too much on protein where I, you know, that's why I'm putting butter and coconut oil, even those fat bombs that I have, like really good sources of fat and cutting back on that fake stuff. I know, right? So, so yeah, that's what's working for me. Well, I like but that. I do agree. A lot of people go the important, um, you know, they, they go the opposite route of just like, I'm just going to add all this fat for no reason. Well, I think the most important thing also is a case by case basis. Exactly. Like everybody's body is, is different. Is, yeah. So you have to know your own body and adjust accordingly. Yes. Mary Ellen says getting those macros just right is so important. I, I agree. I think that, it's you know, like finding, trial and error thing yeah, too, like right? trial and error, to, finding you what your body responds to fat and, and less artificial fat or sweeteners and protein is helping me achieve my goals. Mm -hmm. So, um, Chocolate City says, I am making those fat bombs today minus the shredded coconut. Uh, I mean, shredded coconut is delicious, but <laughs> it, it also, I, let me know how that goes because that also, in my opinion, adds a lot of the body or the texture to it. So like, will they just be super thin without it? Let me know. I'm interested to hear that. So well, I'm interested as well. Debbie says, I need the clean keto fat approach and not add a lot of fat. Yeah. So just eat natural, you know, fats from, you know, high quality sources and animals. Like that's how I feel. Wow. Um, oh, Aurel D says the carnivore conference in May moved to August in Boulder, Colorado. Anyone going surprised? The stream version, uh, is, is over a hundred dollars. Uh, just the I'd have to get a lot of carnivore things. <laughs> um, I'm not going to the carnivore conference, but I am going to look and see if, if they open some other conferences up later this year and stuff like that. Keto Palooza is happening in September. Uh, so yeah. Oh, okay. was that not okay. a week? Oops. That's I did a, bit, a bad job of that. My bad. Lee said, I'm still struggling being at home and life stress. May is a new day for me. Yep. Uh, in the, in the words of Justin Timberlake. Um, pretty soon it's going to be May. Uh, and so I'm thinking about doing some giveaways in May. Just, uh, <laughs> the, the great philosopher, just, uh, Timberlock. Timberlock. Exactly. So I am thinking about doing some giveaways and just different sorts of stuff in May. I'm really excited to, you know, think about and execute some stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get off here so that I can get back what? to the pioneer woman oh I can get back to my coffee oh my and God. then I can get back to being productive. Oh my um, Brooke said, is there a date for Keto Palooza? It is tentative. I'm going to say 95%. And the only reason I'm not saying 100 oh, wow. is because I haven't signed the contract yet, but I've been in con or been in, you know, talks with the lady September 19th and 20th. That is the um like the third Saturday and Sunday. And like I said, if anybody still wants to get on there on the 18th, like people that have been planning to do the color run, we could do our own 5k on Saturday morning. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the keto palooza 5k. So I would really love if people that were coming in early still want to come in early. Uh, but of course, if you just want to come in on Saturday, that's fine too. Ooh, my computer done died. Oh no. Okay. Oh I got to end this and plug up my computer. Cause I got some work to do today. Have a great oh, yes. day, everyone. Great uh, day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow at nine 30. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.